my name is Damien from the band Fucked Up, and this is the first time I ever received stitches. We've been playing in a band for about five years at this point, and I've done several dumb things on stage, and it resulted in injuring myself, but I have escaped, relatively speaking, scot free, until one fateful night in Calgary at the Sleda Island Festival. So we flew into Calgary that morning, and we went to this bar to play a show. And the show was a lot of fun. Like, it was a really, really good time. And at one point, someone handed me a pint glass full of beer. And I don't drink, so what do you do when someone gives you a beer and you don't want to drink? You smash it against your head, right? Right? So that's what I did. And I've smashed pint glasses against my head a few times now, and let me tell you, I'm pretty good at doing it. You know, it's all about hitting it as hard as you can and then quickly pulling back so you don't have any glass cut you or stick into your head. This time, however, for some reason, I decided to take all this hard-earned knowledge that I had about breaking things against your head and throw it right out the window, and I took the pint glass and crushed it into my forehead. And I pulled my hand away and looked at the crushed remnants in my hand and threw them on the ground and, and picked the glass out of my hand. And then I began to feel the trickle of blood on my head. So I put my fingers up to my forehead and felt huge hunks of glass sticking out of my head. Um, having never had this happen before, how do I proceed, I thought. Well, what you shouldn't do is do what I did, which is just begin removing the chunks of glass from your head. It's like when you put a pin in a balloon full of water. Oh, sometimes the pin will go in and hold the water in a little bit. But then when you take that pin out, all the water begins shooting out. So when that glass came out of my head, blood just began streaming down. Sheets and sheets and sheets and sheets and sheets and sheets of blood. So someone brought me up a towel and I cinched it around my head and thought that would be that. Well, the blood didn't stop. The blood really, really didn't stop. So we cut the set short that night, I'm going to have to say. And I walked off stage and me and Ben from the band begin to walk towards this clinic. Bear in mind, this is in Canada, so I didn't have to worry about paying for it. I didn't have to worry about insurance. In Canada, we don't worry about these things. We just go to the hospital and the government takes care of the rest. We don't get guns, but we get that. So, you know, it's a trade. So we finally get to the walk-in clinic and we sit down. And the doctor eventually brought us in after about five hours. Because this is Canada and this is socialized medicine, you do have to wait a little bit. And the doctor put me in and said, have you cleaned all the glass from your work? I was fairly convinced I got all the glass out of my head, but at that point I couldn't have been sure. So I lied and said yes. And they stitched me up. And to this day, I still actually have a piece of glass in my forehead, but it is a small price to pay for a great night at a Calgary walking clinic. 